Yo, honestly, can we stop this guy from making anything else? For real. We need to talk about this. What up, everyone? Welcome to another episode of Red Ace Talks, a show that we talk about everything and anything. And right before we get to the topic, I just remind you, if you do like the episode, please hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, comment down below. Let me know what you think, and also hit the little bell icon. That way you notified about future Red Ace production videos, such as music videos, chunk reviews, and of course, you guessed right, more episodes of Red Ace Talks. Anyways, let's get to it. And we'll be talking about Season 2 of Masters of the Universe. Uh, what was the title called again? Oh, Rev Revolution? Well, who gives a fuck, honestly? Nobody's going to watch this. Nobody's going to watch it. Honestly, what? Who's going to watch this? Kevin Smith shills? Because <laughs> Kevin Smith sucks. And this season, we all know it's going to suck. Okay? So, honestly, there's nothing else to talk about. For the past, the present, for the future. Wait, what? You want to hear more? <laughs> oh, this would have been the record, record-breaking fastest episode we have ever done. All right. I guess if we're going to talk more about it, we're going to have to go back. Back in the past. Back from the very beginning. And we're going to talk about the fact that I was a big fan of He-Man, even as a kid. You know, I watched the original animated show. You know, the one where where they do the video of yada da e yada da oh yada da ah yada da ah ah. <laughs> and even though that video was old, I'm talking yes, I'm talking about the '80s cartoon they used to make that you know that video that people do tests now and see how many times they can listen to it before they go, oh, I can't listen to this anymore. But yeah. So, I watched that cartoon. I loved it as a kid. I had every toy. I um, watched Master of the Universe with Dolph Lundgren. I hated it as a kid, but now I'm starting to appreciate it because of the fact upon this cartoon that sucks. I had to watch the Dolph Lundgren version. But, fast forward to uh, 2020 or maybe beginning of 2021, January. They released the trailer for... Uh, he Man, Master of the Universe. Uh, well, actually, I was, it was called Master of the Universe Revelation, if I remember correctly. And I, I was like, wow, the art is good and all that. You know, I was on the fence about Kevin Smith because, listen, Kevin Smith hasn't done anything good, since, in my opinion, since Clerks 2. Everything else after that, the horror movie sucked that he did. What was it Red State and fucking Tusk and all that other bullshit? And Jay and Silent Bob Part 2 sucked. So. I was like on the fence about that. So what happened was, uh, you know, for those people who don't know, Clownfish TV, they did a report before the season one came out. They did a report saying that they had insiders that, that took a look at the episodes. They were warning them that it's not the He-Man show. He-Man actually dies. Tila takes over and the show is woke as fuck. And they were warning people. And I, I gave you the cliff notes because when they... You know, when, of course, when they did it on Twitter, you know, they typed a whole bunch of stuff. And they did the shows, and they do, like, 20-minute episodes, you know. They're very informative, so I'd rather give you the cliff notes. So, Kevin Smith got pissed. Kevin Smith actually retaliated and attacked him. And, they, you, you know, he's like, oh, you guys don't know. You guys didn't see the show. How can you? This is this is nonsense. And then it was kind of weird because every time he was ridiculing them, because he ridiculed them a few times. I think he had, like, three or four posts. You know, bashing him. But every time he did, he was promoting. He's like, oh, see the show. It's coming out. You know, I think it was like March 2021. You know, I've got the actual date. So, you know, the show comes out and it shows <laughs> the show that shows <laughs> that Cloudfish was right. He man died. Tila took over. It was woke as fuck. Every, you know, uh, man bad, women good kind of bullshit. Kevin Smith went dark. He didn't want to talk to anybody until Netflix probably poked him with a stick. Like, listen, we're paying you to fucking advertise this, so advertise it. And, of course, he advertised it. And, like I said, people didn't want to watch the bullshit. So, according to this article, because a new video has come out for season two, fans on the fence regarding Kevin Smith's He-Man, Masters of the Universe, Revolution. Fans weren't happy with the first season at all. No shit. Fans are still on the fence after getting burned on the first part uh, regarding Kevin Smith and Netflix's Master of the Universe Revolution, which is the second season of the series. The first season saw Kevin Smith bait fans, and then the show took a big switch and went woke as fuck. Woke as fuck. Woke as fuck. Ah, <laughs> uh, man, that's funny. Let me get take a drink. Mm. So I continue. Kevin Smith lied. He man died. Often trended on Twitter, I believe. What the, uh, what the show really was about was Tila. 
What's really odd is the producer behind the scenes, Ted Biasi, Biaselli. I was about to call him Ted DiBiase. Money, 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 money. <laughs> no, but this guy wants to lose money so because he makes bullshit like this because he produced it. Claims to be a massive He-Man fan and said that the garage is full of, uh, he has garages full of action figures, but then why did the series shit all over He-Man and the fans? I don't know. Excuse me. So welcome to Woke Hollywood. Or well, woke as fuck Hollywood, as they would like to put it. Following part one of season one, fans quickly stopped watching, and the second part of the Masters of the Universe Revelation didn't, didn't make it on Netflix's most watch list. It was actually surprising that Netflix chose to do a season two, which they probably signed a contract, uh, due to the big uh, viewership drop. But maybe since Mattel is backing it, Mattel foots the bill. Well, you know what, Mattel? They have a lot of money. Now with the Barbie movie, so they can make it rain. I make it rain. I make it rain. I make it rain. <laughs> uh, so, I guess this is the clip of the, uh, I guess, the next clickbait that Kevin Smith and his goons want you to see. First look, He-Man versus Scareglow. I'm not going to watch it. I'm not even going to show you guys. You know, If you guys want to watch it, you watch it. But now Netflix has released the first look at uh, Season 2, Best Universe Revolu uh, Revolu Revolution, I should say, uh, featuring He-Man taking on Scareglow, which sees the fans on the fence. Presently, the viewer has 1.7 thousand likes and 1.2 thousand dislikes, which basically says half the fans aren't happy, which is never a good thing. Um, you know what? Let's take, you know, I, let's take a look. Uh, at the ratio, because I think this article's old. So let's take a look at the ratio right now. I don't give a shit about. Yeah, I don't give a shit. <laughs> this is clickbait. Uh, all right, so we're standing at 5.1 thousand likes and 7.2 thousand dislikes. So, and of course you got comments like here. That's the screen time of He Man has the season in about two minutes. <laughs> all right, so. It seems that people are not falling for Kevin Smith's bullshit anymore. This is clickbait. I didn't want to watch that video because I know it's clickbait. Because I know it's going to be all about He-Man. Because he did this before with season one. And then when season two happens, it's going to be about Tila. Tila. About the women's revolution. <laughs> Who gives a shit? <laughs> and of course, we got to hear the excuse that Kevin Smith has. Oh, I got to make something for my daughters to appreciate. <gasps> Oh, listen, how about you make a fucking series that the fans appreciate, you piece of shit? You and everybody else. Everybody from woke Hollywood has got to stop fucking using this excuse. I made this for my daughter uh, so, so she can have something to watch. Who gives a shit? You fucking chose to do an IP that the fans fucking liked. And you pulled this bullshit. And not only that, but people are smart now. According to what we read with the numbers, they're fucking smart. Because they're not getting hoodwinked with your bullshit anymore because this is clickbait. Because I guarantee you, just like that comment, the first fucking comment that's on there. Kudos to that person. Funny fucking joke, but it's, I bet you it's serious. First two minutes of He-Man's fucking screen time. The last two minutes or whatever. That's He-Man's screen time. That two-minute video, maybe... Oh, give credit what credit's due because this is a whole season. So I'll add an extra fucking ten minutes at most. Because this piece of shit wants to fucking make something for his daughter. Because this piece of shit fucking said that he was a fan of He-Man. But we found out after the Clownfish fucking incident that he wasn't. So fuck Kevin Smith. Piece of fucking garbage. He hasn't made anything good. He wants to make more rats too? Somebody stop him. Somebody stop him. Because more rats was another one of my uh, my favorites. And it's sad because it's the same person that made the original that is ruining his own IPs with bullshit, with unfunny fucking drama woke bullshit. Oh, I can't take it. I can't take this shit. And now what, the writer's strike is over? So now we get to have them do raw remakes and rehashes of IPs that we love into their woke bullshit? Fuck this shit. Fuck this shit. Honestly. I don't know, what do you guys think? I'm, I'm a little irritated about this now. Now I'm thinking about this, I'm talking about it, it's making me more angry because it, it's all bullshit. We can't escape. It's always a message. It's always something. We can't fucking have fun anymore. It's all bullshit. 
I don't know. Like I said, what do you guys think? I'm sorry for fucking going into a tirade, but let me know what you think down in the comments down below. Are you going to watch He-Man? I'm not watching this piece of shit. I didn't want to fucking show you the video, honestly. For getting flagged or whatever. I don't give a shit. I didn't want to show it because I ain't going to watch it. Anyways, I got to get going. The past, the present, for the future. I mean it this time, guys. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. Until next time, keep it brutal. Be safe. Stay tuned.